Want to learn how to make dairy-free mashed potatoes? Watch this video to learn my best tricks. For the best meal planning tips and to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday, hit the bell to subscribe. Hey meal preppers, it's Allison, Prep Dish Founder. I'm here to help you have a happier, healthier meal time. This recipe is a favorite amongst my thousands of meal plan subscribers. It's also a Thanksgiving meal prep staple at my house. I'm gonna walk you through my three tips for the perfect dairy-free mashed potatoes. The first step is choosing the right potato. So you wanna use a Russet or Yukon Gold, which is starchier, for smooth and fluffy mashed potatoes. Do not use waxy potatoes, such as a red or white variety. These require more mashing to become creamy, which could lead to that potato paste. When making dairy-free mashed potatoes, i.e. potatoes with no milk, no cream, and no butter, you still want to focus on adding plenty of flavor. So my three favorite go-tos when it comes to adding flavor are, number one, broth. So if you're making vegan mashed potatoes, make sure you use vegetable broth. But personally, I prefer a chicken broth. I feel like it adds just a little more flavor. Number two is herbs. You can use fresh or dried. And then the third is, of course, salt and pepper. I call my third tip my ninja move. For this, I like to mix in mashed cauliflower with my potatoes. I find that a ratio of about 50 to 50 works well. As you can see from this next clip, my six month old loves this combo. He finds it more efficient to go face to plate and just skip the spoon altogether. Now, if you're looking for a low carb mash, then you can just do 100% cauliflower. And of course, you're welcome to skip the cauliflower altogether if you just want potatoes. Okay, so now for the fun part, the recipe. This is how I make my mashed potatoes with cauliflower. And remember that the full recipe is linked below. I start by chopping my potatoes. I've used russet here. I like to keep the peel on, but you can also peel if you prefer. You are then going to chop your cauliflower if you're using. I put the potatoes and cauliflower in the same pot. I fill about three fourths full of water. I'll move to the stove top and bring the water to a boil. I'll cover it and let it cook for an hour to an hour and a half. I'll know this is done when a knife inserts easily into the potatoes. I then set aside to cool. From here, I put the potatoes and cauliflower into a food processor, add my chicken broth, and then puree until desired smoothness and season to taste with salt and pepper. Now let's talk Thanksgiving. I like to do a primarily make-ahead Thanksgiving. By the time my guests arrive, if my recipes have all been prepped ahead of time, I find I spend less time running around the kitchen and more time enjoying my guests. If you wanna do a prep ahead Thanksgiving, these potatoes are a great place to start. And as a bonus, if you have guests with dietary restrictions, these work great. You can call them paleo mashed potatoes, gluten-free mashed potatoes, or even vegan mashed potatoes, depending on your guests' dietary needs. If you like the idea of more make ahead Thanksgiving sides, keep in mind that many recipes can be made in advance. Cranberry sauce, salads, dressings, and more. I'm linking some of my favorite prep ahead recipes below. Now having a few prep ahead Thanksgiving recipes is nice, but if you really want to try the prep ahead Thanksgiving method, I've created a Thanksgiving meal plan that you are going to love. See the link below for details. All the recipes are gluten-free and most are paleo. I have a full grocery shopping list and prep ahead instructions for a few days before as well as the day before. Now I wanna hear from you. What's on your Thanksgiving menu? Is anything prep ahead? Let me know in the comments below. And remember that some of my favorite prep ahead Thanksgiving recipes are linked below, as well as that Thanksgiving meal plan. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with a friend, and hit that like button so I know to make more videos like this one. See you in the next one.